Welcome to the vault. This is Neil K. Mighty Fan coming at you again with another Combo Wombo special, right? Another Combo Wombo vid. Got to match some hats with, with the jerseys, right? Because this is what we got to do. We got to do It's very important, okay? Uh, so recently, one of my favorite store chains, Pro Image, put out a set of hats that, you know, hit me right in the feels, man. It hit me right in the feels because, believe me, it's one of the styles of fitted hats that I've always liked. Uh, and I know it's the style that, you know, some people love them, some people don't, but to each his own, right? I love them, and I hope that they make a comeback someday. I really do, because I go after the vintage ones, too. But um, it was nice to see, um, you know, Pro Image put out a set of them. They made a set of, I believe, five hats. I got three of the five, the three that spoke to me the most. And what hats am I talking about? I'm talking about the pinwheel style hats. I've always said this right, the power of the pinwheel. The pinwheel style hats are still some of my all-time favorites in fitted hats. It was a look that was so good back in the day. It continues to be. Don't hate. You know you like them. I know. Because I know. <laughs> All right. So these hats first started popping up in like, I want to say like the early to mid-2000s, really in the time of the Jersey Boom days, right? And speaking of the Jersey Booms, this is one of those jerseys from the Jersey Boom days. Back in the early to mid-2000s, we got that Gary Carter on right here for the Expos. And the Expos, of course, were the only team that I can think of that actually wore pinwheel-style hats on field, right? So this is, of course, being an Expo hat. Now, this one right here, this was a, one I picked up from Pro Image a little, you know, some time back. But, um, of course, when I think of the pinwheel-style hats, I do think of the Expos, and I think of the, the joy that those style hats still bring me. I remember those hats back in the day. Those hats pretty much came out to coincide with the jersey game because, like the jerseys, they were just bold. They were colorful. They had a big logo on the front. Sometimes they had the two logos going on in the front, which was the double whammy hats. And you had all sorts of ones, just the colors, the style. You know, they go perfect with the jerseys, of course. Combo wombo, right? Perfect. So that's pro probably one of the reasons why I like them so much, being a big, you know, not only hat head, but jersey head, of course. Anything that goes with the jerseys makes me happy. So let's go. I'm going to show you some of the most recent ones that Pro Image put out. I'm also going to show you one of my older ones that I got, you know, back in the day. Now, I kind of wanted to show you a little more, but I figured, you know, if, if I showed you a lot of those pinwheel hat jersey combo wombos, it, it, the, the vid might be a little more lengthy so so maybe another day maybe i'll maybe i'll throw one in here here and there you know because i have a nice little collection of those pinwheel style hats and i like i said i do look for the vintage ones and if there's something new that comes out you know i try to get it too not that i hit on every single one but these latest i really like them again pro image shout out to them uh, philly area so here you go we got the phillies pinwheel style hat right there Ooh, power of the pinwheel baby so there you go there's the logo on the front. They do have side patches. You got that final season of the vet right there. And there'll be logo. You got good gray right there. Gray under black gut. Very nice hat. We're going to pair it up with, uh, with a uh, powder blue Phillies jersey. We're going to go with that 1980 um, Steve Carlton lefty, of course. You know. Just going to pick a player that had some great years at the vet wearing those colors. From those years ago, we're going to go with that one. Could go with many different jerseys. I can go with the home white, too, with this hat. You know, that's kind of the cool thing about this hat. I can go with the with the powder blue, which I still love, or you can go with the home white from that era. Maybe even throw a little Saturday Night Special burgundy jersey. I mean, you never know. You can go different ways with that. But that's the cool thing about this hat, because it's got all the colors on there right there. So, anyhow, there is one. Then I'm going to hit you with the second one. We all love Diamondbacks hats. So, there you go. Arizona Diamondbacks, look at that, right there, logo, of course, we all love that logo, the inaugural season, patch right there, MLB Batterman, gray under again, black gut, very nice, big, bold logo, and I love the fact they went with the big, bold logos, because back in the day, you would see these big, bold logos on the front of those hats, and that's one of the things, to me, that just always made, made them stand out, too, um, going to go with that vintage Randy Johnson right here. Of course, the big unit, Arizona. There is the jersey with the hat, combo wombo right there. You can go with a few Diamondbacks, you know, jerseys for this uh, for this particular hat. You can go with various ones. 
for this vid's purpose, I'm just gonna go with the, you know, the classic Diamondbacks home jersey pinstripe. I'm gonna go with that one with the big unit right there. And next up, this was the third of the five hats that they put out. Again, I only got the three. Uh, Tampa Bay, Devil Rays right here. Uh, you know, you always got to love that old logo right there, right? Tampa Bay with the uh, the TB and the Devil Ray, the full ray right there. You got the inaugural patch on the uh, side. You got the Batterman logo. Again, you got the brim right there with the gray under and black gut. The other two they made were the Padres and the New York Mets. And I want to say the Padres had their 50th anniversary logo on the side. And the Mets, I think, had that Subway Series uh, World Series patch on the side. But nice set. Nice set put out by Pro Image in recent in recent weeks. Uh, for, the, for the hat, yeah. I'm going to go with the inaugural season Devil Rays jersey right here. Huh? Yeah, how many of you have that on a jersey? See, we all have it on a hat. I got that on a jersey, too. There it is. <laughs> Won a jersey battle with this jersey recently. But anyhow, there is the <laughs> crime dog right there. Fred McGriff, vintage Devil Rays jersey with the hat. Beautiful. Goes really well together. Just love the colors. I love the colors. It's just crazy. Look at that with the Devil Rays in there with that, huh? Little Floridian colorway going right there. Oh, come on. Mighty Fan puts it together. Anyhow, here we go. Last but certainly not least, as I said, I'm going to show you one of my vintage ones. This is a vintage. Now, those three, of course, were newer, new era uh, hats. This one's a vintage Mitchell and Ness one. New Orleans Jazz right there. Look at the pinwheel. Oh, come on. Huh? Come on. Huh? Little uh, logo on the back as well. You got the... You got the brim. You got all sorts of things like that. Good. Look, you even got the good green on that. Look at that, huh? Ah, see, people are sleeping on these. I know, because I know. And anyhow, we're gonna go. This time, I'm gonna go two for one. New Orleans Jazz Pistol Pete, the all-time greats, right there. There's the hat and jersey, and as you see, it has, does have the Mitchell and S on the side, right there. This hat was made back in the day. There's the jersey with the pistol on the back. Beautiful jersey, number 44, right there. Authentic line. Jersey right there. And last but not least, we are going to go with the home version when he wore number seven. So there again, the jazz pistol jersey right there. I'm going to put that hat up with it. Combo wombo right there. There it is. Huh? That's a good look. Mumfu. That's facts. There it is. <laughs> so anyhow there you go i got your combo wombos right there pinwheel power edition love the pinwheel power man love the pinwheel hats i'm such a fan again shout out to pro image local pro, pro image shops putting those hats out uh at least the first three that i showed uh a couple weeks back was glad to have them i was so excited you know to see some made and uh had to had to have those in the collection but anyhow what do I always say, right? What do you got to do in YouTube land? You have to do this. Thumbs up. As many thumbs up as we can see. More thumbs up than ever before. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, right? And you got to make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that bell icon once you do so you always get alerted to future content on this channel. And the fellas put in that work. They put in that work work they do they do it for you okay so make sure you do those things if you haven't already done so and thanks for watching as always and fellas you all take care as well and this is mighty fan again for another combo wombo special i'll see you in the next one bye pinwheel power